On May 22, 1960, the Great Chilean earthquake struck the coastal regions of Chile, registering a magnitude of 9.5 on the Richter scale. The energy released was equivalent to 25,000 nuclear bombs, making this quake the strongest recorded. It caused widespread devastation across the country, triggering landslides and tsunamis that destroyed entire towns and villages, and claimed the lives of thousands. Chile is a long, narrow country stretching over 4,000 kilometers along the western coast of South America, bordered by the Andes Mountains to the east and the Pacific Ocean to the west. The frequent earthquakes and volcanic activity are caused by the convergence of the South American and Nazca plates. The country is part of the highly seismic Pacific Ring of Fire. Chile has a long history of earthquakes, but this one was the strongest ever. The 1960 earthquake struck just after 7 p.m. on May 22. The quake lasted for about 10 minutes and was followed by numerous aftershocks. The epicenter was located off the coast of southern Chile, near Valdivia. The quake's effects were felt as far away as Hawaii and Japan. Several notable events led up to the earthquake of 1960. There were a series of three devastating earthquakes that occurred between May 21 and 22, which became known as the Concepcion earthquakes. They were part of the foreshock sequence leading up to the Valdivia earthquake. In the years preceding the quake, several minor earthquakes and seismic activity were detected in the region, indicating that the fault lines were under significant pressure. Chile's infrastructure was significantly damaged. In Valdivia, the epicenter, buildings collapsed, and bridges were destroyed, leaving many people trapped or injured. The quake also triggered landslides, which blocked roads and made it difficult for rescue workers to reach affected areas. The impact of the tsunamis was equally devastating, with waves reaching heights of up to 25 meters and inundating entire towns and villages along the coast. It was estimated that over 2,000 people were killed, and many more were injured or missing. In the days and weeks following the quake, the full extent of the damage became apparent, with entire communities destroyed and infrastructure in ruins. The Chilean government mobilized a massive relief effort in response to the disaster. A state of emergency was declared, and the military was deployed to assist with rescue and relief operations. Despite these efforts, the recovery process was slow and difficult. Many people were left without homes or access to basic necessities, and the psychological impact of the disaster was significant. Related to the earthquake, another significant event occurred just 38 hours after the main shock of the 1960 Valdivia earthquake. The Cordon Call volcano erupted on May 24. The eruption was believed to have been triggered by the quake. The volcano eruption occurred between two sparsely populated and isolated Andean valleys. It received little attention from the media due to the widespread damage and losses caused by the earthquake. The Great Chilean Earthquake of 1960 profoundly impacted Chile and the world. In the years following the earthquake, significant efforts were made to improve the country's preparedness and response capabilities. The committee, called ONEMI, was officially founded to serve this purpose. One of the most important legacies of the quake was the development of the tsunami warning system. The tsunamis that followed the earthquake caused substantial damage and loss of life, prompting scientists to develop a warning system that could alert people to the approach of a tsunami. This system has since been implemented by other countries worldwide and has helped save countless lives. The earthquake also profoundly impacted the study of earthquakes and seismic activity. Scientists learned a great deal about the behavior of earthquakes and tsunamis, which has led to improvements in earthquake prediction and response capabilities. The tragedy also highlighted the importance of social and economic inequality, as poorer communities were disproportionately affected by the earthquake and its aftermath. The Chilean government has since made significant investments in infrastructure and social programs to improve the quality of life for all Chileans. Today, Chile is considered one of the most prosperous and stable countries in Latin America, and its experience with natural disasters has helped to shape its approach to disaster management and preparedness. We hope that you liked this video and found it informational. Please consider subscribing and hitting the like button. It would really help us out a lot. Thanks.